You guys might know me from directing the Glambot or from music videos for Katy Perry and Pink, but how did I get to where I am? What was the big break in my career? Well, I'm gonna lead you down a little bit of my history on how I got to where I am in my career right now. What's up party people? What I've been doing lately is this sort of series where I get a lot of questions on Instagram uh, and Facebook. People asking me career advice, different thoughts, wondering different things about uh, mostly filmmaking focused, um, though I do get hair questions uh, every so often. And I got a fantastic question from Adam J. Welch asking about how I got my start in my career and what my big break was. So let's check it out. Hi Cole, my name is Adam Welch and I'm a cinematographer from Iowa. I really enjoy following all your work on Instagram from Glambot to other projects. But I was wondering, what project do you feel was your big break? Thank you, Adam, for that fantastically shot question. I can tell you're a cinematographer uh, based on how you shot your submission there. The uh, shadowy blinds in the background was a lovely touch. So I think the answer to this question is there's actually two videos. There's two videos in my career, early in my career, that I felt gave me my big break. This is 2008. I get a call from Miley Cyrus's choreographers, who are friends of mine, Teresa Espinosa and Allison Falk. They said they're gonna do an online dance battle against the cast of Step Up 2, and they wanted to know if I would be willing to direct the Miley and Mandy side of it. I say, of course, obviously. Uh, we got a bunch of dancers together and we shot a super fun dance video with Miley Cyrus and Manny Giroux uh, with a bunch of our dancer friends. Adam being the star so of two and Miley having her career going like crazy and everybody had their separate little um, blogs that they were doing so it was John's idea to say hey you know what like we should get some interaction going in between Adam and Miley. When we made this video you know we were sort of just doing what we do I mean all these dancers like this is what they do and for me it's like starting my career directing it's like we kind of just did our own little thing and we never really knew how big of an impact or what this would grow out to be. Uh, so we shot this video, it was so much fun and it, and it went viral. Keep in mind, this is like top of Hannah Montana fame, 2008. This is like where a big celebrity is doing content specifically for YouTube and it definitely made the rounds. I mean, Madonna responded to us, it was all over the entertainment shows, people were talking about it. You know, I thought maybe, oh, this is big, this is gonna get me a lot of work. Didn't really, didn't really get me any work. But what it did do, was give me the confidence to talk about myself as a director, as a filmmaker, with a piece of content that had a chance that people saw and or knew what it was. I mean, I think what everybody struggles with is confidence in your work and yourself as a creator, as a director. This gave me the confidence to like walk in a room, have a conversation with someone, they're like, oh, what do you do? And they're like, you say, oh, I'm a director, I'm a filmmaker. And the next question is always like, oh, what have you done? Have I seen anything? When I'd have discussions with other people in the industry, I felt like I deserved to be there because I had done something. And I think just that confidence enables me to have conversations that could procure more work because I was just like a confident individual in my filmmaking skill. The second big break moment, one of the choreographers from Miley Cyrus went on to choreograph uh, for Pink. This is Allison Falk, who is again a dear friend of mine, still to this day. She learns choreography really fast. She's athletic, she's strong, but she's feminine at the same time. So Allison Falk in 2008 uh, is choreographing for Pink's Funhouse Tour, which is her first big choreography job. She wanted to get some footage of her rehearsing with Alicia. She asked me to come film for free. I always get the question of like, should a creator film for free or not? There is a more in-depth discussion about it. In fact, maybe I'll do a video on that. If you want to know that video, comment below. I came to rehearsal. I then met Alicia uh, Pink. I met the tour director. We sort of caught a vibe. In the preparation for this Funhouse tour, they needed an opening video directed. By the graces of their heart, Alicia and the tour director Baz Halpin, uh, who has been majorly instrumental in my career based off this moment, or asked me if I'd be interested in directing the opening video. I was beside myself. I said, of course, I was super nervous.
such a crazy cool fun concept. You know, I ended up then going on tour with them on and off, shooting behind the scenes, directing a documentary of her life on tour, directed the opening and closing videos of the next tour, I did another documentary, and I really started off like a decade long time of working with Pink. Um, they really gave me a chance. I think the biggest thing is like adding confidence where you're like, I've done some stuff. I, I can walk into a room and be like, I directed that video for Pink. That's a huge part of the big break. It's never like you do one video and then everybody's offering you jobs. Does not work like that. Open up some new connections, meet some new people, have good conversations about your career and your capabilities, and thus you can pivot all those things into more work, which is what I did, which is the thing that started my career. Yeah, those two videos were, were instrumental in building my career, and I, and I consider those, those my two big break videos. Thank you, Adam, for the question. Let me know the questions down below, and if I like your question, I'll reach out to you, and I'll say, hey, film me a video and send me your question. I got a couple more in the bank. We're gonna rock these guys out. Thank you for watching. If this is interesting, if you found this fascinating, if you have a big break video that you wanna tell me about and it was instrumental in your career, comment below, tag it, I wanna see it. All right, thanks for watching. Love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Peace.